Well, welcome back. Actress Jennifer Grey and supermodel Bella Hadid have been in the headlines recently, bringing the topic of teen plastic surgery to light. So both celebrities saying they regret getting nose jobs at a young age. So on top of that, Grey just revealed that her mom was actually the one who suggested that she get a nose job. And since May is Mental Health Awareness Month, one of the nation's top rhinoplasty surgeons is joining us this morning to talk about the pressure that teens are now facing to be perfect. So Dr. Deepak Dugar is joining us this morning. Thanks so much for being here, sir. Why do you think teens in particular are feeling that, that real desire and need to have to look as best as they possibly can? I think they're growing up in a time that's even more difficult than anything we ever faced when we were teenagers because everything's amplified times a thousand on social media. They're watching their friends, they're watching celebrities, they're watching their peers do things and look certain ways that most of the time aren't even real. We are used to Photoshopping. Today, people are video shopping. There's apps that allow you to look skinnier with video editing. So it's just crazy what they're going through and all these things that are going through their brains that they have to always consciously filter. And sometimes they don't have those techniques and we want to help teach them those. Oh, for sure. And I think it's interesting because like you're saying, they're seeing it every day on TikTok, Instagram, whatever it is. And they might start almost believing that what they see, even though it's fake, they might not even realize it and just think that is the standard, right? Right. So it's creating this false sense of beauty standards because everyone has to remember Instagram, TikTok, this is everyone's greatest hits. No, most influencers are not posting their bad photos, they're posting their best ones. And the best ones are then being filtered and edited and posted again and retouched. And that can literally create a mental health pandemic. And what we want to do is give more awareness to these trends and let the youth know that it's okay to be yourself and appreciate yourself rather than always trying to compare yourself to another part that someone else is showing that may not even be real yeah and that's obviously you know about just like you know feeling safe in your own skin and feeling confident about yourself and i know you have some tips really on how to do that as well yeah so i think one of the biggest things is you have to every day have self positive talk i think a lot of us wake up feeling bad by accident and one of my friends and mentors tony robbins always says why not feel good every day by accident and so i think one of the biggest things you can do is every single day Talk to yourself in the mirror. Self-positive talk is so important. Studies have shown that if you talk to yourself positively in the mirror, it has positive effects throughout the rest of your day. We go into a lot of these strategies in our book, Beautiful, where we uncover a lot of the toxic inputs that you subconsciously are putting into yourself without realizing it on a daily basis and how you can filter those and live a more beautiful life on a daily basis. And so that is great advice, you know, for kids watching and, you know, kids in their teenage years. But what about the parents? We've heard that celebrities have had parents really put pressure on them. What would you say to, you know, mom and dad out there? Yeah, so I always tell every parent whenever they come in for a consultation with their kids, the first thing is this has to be something that the kid wants to do. If they want to get plastic surgery, let them have the consultation properly. Don't put upon your children your own insecurities. Sometimes a mom or a dad were bullied when they were kids about having small breasts or about having a small nose or a big nose, and they put that insecurity because they don't want their kids to face the same trauma they did. But they have to remember, their kids are different people. They may have different experiences in their lives, and they may have different purposes, and they may not have the same insecurities just because you did. So so don't put your insecurities on your children. Let them develop into who they're going to be, whether or not they need that insecurity. All right. Awesome. All good advice. You can see right in his book there, be beautiful, emphasis on the you, be you. All right. Dr. Dugar, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me.